Welcome back. It is 645 now. Many people are still suffering from the effects of this winter storm like we've never seen before. Now, according to officials, road conditions are the worst they have been. Many still struggling without running water as well this morning. In the morning, Loops Modern Jelly Lopez caught up with a few East Texans to hear how they're surviving through these circumstances. It has now been about five days since East Texans lost power due to this historic winter storm, leaving many without ways to be able to heat their homes. There's also the issue of running water. Many people waking up without running water. Some people are slowly getting it back, but it's still not enough. And also something new that people have had to deal with, not as frequent, the boil water advisories. All these experiences that East Texans are having to deal with, and I got a chance to speak to a few of you. Texas is in a frozen time warp, many unable to get anywhere due to dangerous road conditions caused by the ice. Like this man who's been stranded on Interstate 20 heading towards Longview since 4 p.m. Thursday afternoon, unable to move or get to an exit to get off the roads. Or this woman and her two kids moving from Colorado to southern Louisiana. She says they were stuck on the interstate for 14 and a half hours until they were finally able to get to a rest stop in Longview at 5 a.m. Friday morning. According to the Texas Department of Public Safety, I-20 eastbound and westbound have reopened this morning, but traffic is still very slow moving and first responders have to wake sleeping motorists in their vehicles to start moving again. Over in more rural areas, people are still without access to clean, reliable running water. Dean Water is our water supply, and we have been without water since my, uh, Tuesday around noon. Eddie McKinney has been learning how to adapt through this winter storm. She says she grew up in Minnesota where it usually snows and has never seen anything like this. I was never without water. I was never without heat. Here in Texas, I'm without both of them. <laughs> People like Cheryl McLeod have been lucky enough to have never lost their electricity, but her mother who lives in a retirement community lost her power along with everyone else and they made the journey Monday to pick her up. Uh, it was a little nerve wracking, but we have an explorer. Uh, so my husband, we just drove slowly and went up to Rice and got on to Old Jacksonville and got onto the loop and just and then go on down to pick her up. Although she's always had power, she lost water and says boiling her water was a new experience. It's been um it's been an eye opening experience. You know, just <laughs> running out and having to boil your water now. Uh, you know, just those things that you just don't think about. You know, those things definitely that we didn't really have to think about until this week. And those are just a few of the stories that I got to talk to some of the East Texans. But I know some of you are still struggling. I actually haven't been home myself yet, but I think maybe once the roads thaw down, I might go back home to check out, you know, how it was. But, you know, the best thing that I have seen this week are neighbors helping each other. And everybody's just kind of going through this together. So, you know, we've got you covered, East Texas. Stay warm. I'm Mara Angeli Lopez, CBS 19. Thank you, Mara.